Hallelujah. Welcome to this presentation. My name is Joseph Adenuga, the pastor of Prevailing Church of Christ, Bethlehem, South Africa. Amen. The title of this um, message is The Faith That Overcomes. I take my text from the book of Hebrews chapter 11 from verse 1 to 6, but I really want to major on verse 1, which says, Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That is our test. That is the Bible definition of faith. Faith is believing what God has said. Faith is knowing in your heart that if God said it, that's it. It's settled. It's settled. I'm not going to look to the left or to the right. I'm just going to settle with what God has said. That is faith. Faith is confessing the word of God. Faith is seeing the word of God as real. Let me give you an instance. The Bible says, by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. Now, faith says, if God said it, that I'm healed. No matter how I feel, I know I'm healed. So I'm going to go about my business as if really, really, I am healed. Faith does not take the evidence of the flesh. It takes the evidence of the word, the evidence of the spirit. Hallelujah. Faith is seeing yourself healed, seeing yourself rich, seeing yourself blessed, seeing yourself delivered, seeing yourself receiving that miracle job, seeing yourself having that miracle husband, miracle wife. Faith is believing that God is with me and I'm going to get it no matter what. That is faith. You need that faith. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When you hear the word of God, you believe the word of God. Then beyond believing, you begin to see the word of God take effect in your life. That is faith. You need that faith. Faith is the only thing that connects you with heaven. Faith is the only thing that Abraham had that made him a friend of God. Now from my experience as a man, at this stage, I know my age, I'm 50 this year. I have seen that those who have faith in God have never been put to shame in all of history. If you believe God to do whatever you believe Him for, He will never fail you. He never fails anyone that exercises this faith that I'm talking about. You need to believe Him. He's right there with you. Believe that. You are not going to sink. You are not going to fall. No, you are not going to be destroyed. God is with you. Just believe that and it will be well with you. Be blessed and remain blessed.